Offload started in, uh, in 2017. The main purpose at the time of Offload was uh, a preventative for suicide. Working in the areas of Widnes, uh, Warrington, Salford, that's where it started. It was recognised in the, the socio-economic areas that suicide was quite high and especially amongst men, the stats at that time were, were, were quite scary and, and being involved in rugby and recognising that that men are in the stands, men are in, involved in rugby clubs and, and being part of the rugby family. There's an opportunity to, to invite them into areas and environments where they're comfortable uh, to break down a little bit of the anxiousness of, of possibly going to see doctors, seeing clinical uh, physicians uh, and going to a local club where they feel comfortable and, and being able to try and open up, so to speak, or talk about some problems that, that they're going through. The, the more that we can re reduce suicide in men and also women in, in general is, is the main purpose of it, but it's, it's, it's evolved. It's evolved over the years in, in becoming more of a, an educational platform for, for individuals to look at themselves and how they can self-manage. How, because everything when it comes to mental health is subjective and it's not one one hat fits all. Anybody can attend and, and we have people that have, have have got serious mental illness to chief executives of, of high corporate businesses because problems or change is is inevitable. It's how you can deal with that change which is, is the positive side that we're trying to put across. So you don't have to be in crisis and this is it when it comes to, to the mental health continuum which is fluid. You can, you can be excelling in every, every part of call or you can be at, at the bottom of crisis. For the last few, last few years it has been really tough on a lot of people. The way society is with COVID, the way our change has, has come into people's lives. Change is inevitable and it could be the it could be the, the fact of just receiving a phone call, your life could change in an instant. And if that happens, it's it's your choice and how you respond to that. And I can use Mossima Soa and Rob Bull as a prime example of, of an incident that, that changed their life in seconds. And we look at their choice in where well they combated that and they combated it in a positive mental attitude. If we can help people the same way, I think it's invaluable, invaluable and it just shows the importance of a positive mental attitude when you are going through uh, life-changing situations. Normalise the conversation of mental health. Let's get that conversation out there and, and, and open up as many opportunities to, to be able to, if you want to, to be able to talk.